I've lost 180 pounds with a combination of carnivore, keto, and counting calories. I reached my goal in November of 2022, and over the past year and a half, I've noticed the scale went up about 8 pounds. Let's experiment with carnivore and counting calories and see what improvements I can make. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. So if you saw my Wednesday video, I went to Walmart and I got some, I got a rotisserie chicken. And uh, so I've got some of that rotisserie chicken left. Today's the next day. <laughs> Actually, tonight's the same night. And um, I've got some of this uh, pre-cooked bacon. I'm going to make like a, a Alfredo type thing. Um, it's going to be carnivore-ish, okay? It's not going to be carnivore. It's not going to be perfectly carnivore. Because I'm going to add a little bit of a uh, little bit of this to it. And wherever the red wine went. So we're going to get this bacon kind of melted down. I'll be right back. Alright, so I've crisped up my bacon enough. It's already cooked. I just want to kind of get out some of that. I want to render some of that uh, some of that bacon fat out of there. Just to get us some some good flavor. So now I'm just gonna we'll put this back in in a little bit. I just need to get it out for the moment. So we'll just stick it on this paper plate. So now, and this is why I say carnivore-ish, I'm putting in some red wine as if we're deglazing it. Now you don't have to use this. You can use water. You can use heavy cream. You can use whatever is going to work best for your way of eating. And so I'm calling this carnivore-ish. So I'm doing that. I'm going to also add some minced onions. And I'm going to add some, um, some garlic. I'm going to kind of stir that in a little bit, let that kind of warm up and let the, let the minced onions kind of absorb some of that liquid there. Now, when I was hardcore keto and um, not using milk, milk, I would take, I'd use heavy cream. So, you know, you can, use, you can do this all kinds of ways, whatever's going to fit your way of doing it. Um, Next, I have never done this, but I want to try it. I've got some yogurt. I'm going to put in like a scoop of yogurt. Don't ask measurements because, to be honest, I've never made it this way. I'm just experimenting right now with you in this moment. Because you know that's how I roll. I don't know why. I just want to see. It's kind of like a sour cream. You know, yogurt is. So you can use sour cream if you prefer. Or if you prefer, don't use nothing. It's just what I'm experimenting with. I'm just kind of winging it. These are all mostly things that I know carnivores, okay, except for the red wine and the onions and the garlic. Those are the kinds of things we eat. So I'm just, you know, giving us some options. I'm taking one wedge of Laughing Cow Cheese. This is just the, um, this is just the light one. It's not, um, not, I, I've used the Asiago one before. Oh, man, that is to die for. Absolutely to die for. But I just want to kind of melt it down a little bit, get it warm, let it kind of melt in there. We want it to be creamy like Asiago, or creamy Alfredo. I've seen some TikToks, and they said that they're the real Alfredo it was not even a thing that it doesn't look like what what we Americanize what we Americans have done to it but you know we Americans we kind of mess up a lot of things <laughs> I shouldn't say mess up we make them our own and in a way that is probably not very healthy now we're gonna add some milk you know again I'm just making this my way and I'm, I'm taking you along for the ride so you do not have to do all the things that I'm doing. Um, this is another one that Debbie Sue had sent me a while ago. It's savory chicken soup. 
it's a keto chow one. And uh, I've been saving it for a special occasion. And I feel like this is a really good special occasion. So we want to get that savory chicken flavor in there. I'm going to put the rest in this little, little jobber right here. And I already have a lid ready. So this way I can save it for another time. Yeah, all this is kind of heating up. And the flavors are mixing together. It's going to be yum, yum. Going to get me some. And we'll add the chicken back in in a little bit. Now, if you have a family, you could be you could serve this over veggies. You could serve this over pasta. You could not make it. You might think this looks disgusting. That's all right. That's all right. We all kind of have our own little things. As you can tell right now, I am not counting my macros, y'all. When I'm sick, I just kind of leave things alone. I can catch back up when I feel better. I'm not too worried about it right now, y'all. I do want to add some of my tomato chicken bouillon. These are the ones I use. This is the chicken bouillon, um, but I, I, which is one I other one I use. But this is the tomato. So it's tomato bouillon with bouillon with chicken, and that's that's what I want. I want to kind of give it that tangy. I know Alfredo doesn't have tomatoes, but you just mind your business. Mine is going to. I just want it. So, let me turn this down a little bit. It is 7.30 and I just was playing a video game and thought I'd come in and do this instead. Yeah. Now, if I was cooking for somebody else, I would not lick the spoon, but I'm about to lick the spoon. Well, no, this already has... Hang on, let me taste it. Let's just see. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we're going to put that on there. We're going to put the beans, or the, let's see, bacon in there. You already got that. Hang on, somebody's barking. Hey, knock it off. All right, so we got that. Now we're going to put in our chicken. We want it all to kind of, like I said, I'm going to put it in a container and take it to work tomorrow. But I want all the flavors to kind of blend in together a little bit before we just bag it, you know, package it up. So we just want to kind of let it all mix together here. Let all the flavors come together. All that good stuff. Yeah, buddy. And then we're even going to top it off. I told y'all I'm not counting, so I'm about to do something y'all never see me do. But you got to wait a little bit. Um, that's a little thick. So what I'm going to do Hold up. I got some chicken broth here that I've been using because to drink at work. And uh, we're going to pour just a little bit of that chicken juice in there. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid on it and let it kind of simmer for a few minutes just till everything gets kind of coated and heat it up and all the flavors blend in together so I'll be back okay it's done cooking and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a container and I'll show you what we're gonna do next I'll be right back okay so yeah bacon and chicken alfredo and I'll put just a little bit of basil over the top just to give it a pretty little color or pretty little sprinkle and uh, I'm gonna put on Top of it, I've got some fat-free mozzarella. Just going to put a little of that on top of it. Just a little more. Just a little. Oh, hold up. Got to get them bill fillers. Okay, so a little fat-free mozzarella. And we're going to put on some grated Parmesan. We're getting fancy, y'all. We got the grated kind. We don't have the shredded kind. We got the grated. We're up. We're a high class around here. And there you go. So I'll take this to work with me tomorrow, along with some broth, um, you know, to sip on throughout the day. And that's going to be my carnivore-ish um, uh, chicken alfredo. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, y'all. 
Gidget and I were talking down in the comment section about Three's Company and Mrs. Roper from the show. And she, we were talking about Moo Moo's. Anyway, I feel like today's vibe is Mrs. Roper. I know she always had like the flowy Moo Moo's. But I just, I don't know, this today, I just feel like I'm getting Mrs. Roper vibe from Three's Company. <laughs> Love that show. How many of y'all to remember that show? Anyway, yeah. So I'm giving Mrs. Roper vibes. All right, bye. Hello, it is lunchtime. Well, there's a glare behind me in there. Sorry about that. Anyway, it's lunchtime, and we've got our chicken, our carnivore-ish chicken Alfredo. Again, you just, you take different parts that you would want, and take out parts that you don't want, and make it your own, because, you know, we can't all have everything the same, but <clears throat> I'm going to get stirred up and get that cheese all mixed in there and the bacon all mixed in there. It's going to be so numb, numb in my tum tum. I probably should not have heated up as long because now it's going to burn my mouth. But let's see. Let me see. Let me see if we can taste it. You know, you know, you know that's some good stuff. Whoa, sorry about that. You know that's some good stuff. I'm trying to block the glare. I could move to the other side, but I got my phone plugged in. That's some good stuff, Maynard. Good, good, good. So this is going to be my brunch today. Yeah. So, um, all right. I don't know what we're doing for supper. I see my cardiologist today. So, um, and so, so you know, in tomorrow's video, I've got a supervisor meeting tomorrow. So, I don't know what I'm making, but we're going to make up something fancy for me to take because I'm going to go and have something that I can feel good about while they're eating whatever it is they're eating. So, okay, bye. So I don't feel good enough to take a long walk or walk the dogs or anything yet, but I'm freezing my butt off inside. So uh, we're gonna walk down to that stop sign. I don't know if you can see it, it's down there. So we're gonna go down to that stop sign and back. I just, I'm cold and you know, I feel poopy. So I just wanna come move a minute. Isn't that something? I already had my lunch and I'm full and I feel good. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're going to just move. Yes, I know I just contradicted myself. I said I feel poopy and I feel good. I feel poopy from my, like, my mid-chest up to my head. That feels poopy. But from my mid-chest down feels great because I have a full belly. And we all know a full belly is my happy place. So, I got a full belly and yet... I'm stuffy and chest yucky. Okay, now, bye. And I made it back. See? We went all the way down to the stop sign. And now we're back to work again. I'm not weed eating today. <laughs> I'm not weeding. I'm just taking a little stroll because, like I said, I was cold. So, all right, back to it. Got a meeting. And don't forget, I see my Dr. Farouk. Um, he's just a cutie patootie. I just want to pinch his cheeks and... Kiss his little cheek for saving my life, little stinker. Okay, well, I'll tell you how that appointment goes when I go. Hey there. I'm Hunger Jack, man. It is 538. Uh, so I went to the cardiologist. Listen, you're just going to have to deal with me eating as I talk. I got three burgers and some ketchup, um, that mixture that I use. Oh, man, I'm going to put some onions in here. Hang on. So I went to the cardiologist today, and um, he's like, he was he just he's just cute as a bug. I just want to pinch his little cheeks. He's like, what happened? 
I said, nothing, why? He said, well, you went to the hospital. I said, I did? I said, for what? He's like, the brain. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yo, I've been so past that between the eyes and, and, and everything else. I've been so past that. I've done forgot all about that thing. Anyway, so we talked about that a little bit. And he explained to me. He was talking to me. He's like, well, you know, if the neurologist thinks it's a TIA, then it could be because there's a hole at the top of the heart or maybe you have some atrial fibrillation and he explained that. And I said, I don't feel like I have any irregular heartbeat. I said, I don't get winded. I don't, you know, I don't have, you know, I don't feel it. And uh, he's like, I don't think you have it either. Because I was in the hospital for this and, and that and there's never any AFib. Um, <clears throat> so he said, you know, that what we would worry about is if there's a clot. And I'm thinking... I'm on Plavix and aspirin, but I just smile and nod, you know. Anyway, so he talked about that, and, and I said, he said, now, if they do a such and such test, I was like, oh, I think they did that at bedside. They did? How did I miss that? So he got up and went and looked at my record. He's like, you were right, they did. And um, so we talked a little bit more, and um, he said, everything's looking fine. I asked him some questions. I said, I told him, you know, that I got the, the shot because of all this. And then I told him that I was put on the fluoxetine, which is Prozac. Um, we talked about that a little bit. I told him, what else? I asked him about, you know, I said, I have that one vessel that's 55%. So, you know, is that going to clot off? Is that something I need to worry about? He's like, no, um, as long as you keep, you know, eating healthy. And, and I know you're working on stay, getting healthy and, or staying healthy. And he's like, have you lost weight? I'm like. Since you, he said, since you were here last, I'm like, I don't know, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I know I'm trying. And he was like, well, you look like it. You're looking good. I'm like, thanks. So um, so anyway, I don't know. You know, some doctors just say that to make you feel good. But anyway, I have no idea if, if I have or not. I didn't look at the numbers. And maybe maybe he did look at the numbers. But, um, <clears throat> but anyway, so he was asking if I lost weight. And what else did we talk about? Um... I'm supposed to tell him if there's anything that comes out of the, because the, I see the neurologist in September, and if there's anything that comes out of it that they think it was a stroke, I'm supposed to give him a call, and, and he's like, I don't feel like we need to chase the atrial fibrillation theory, he said, but if they think it was a TIA, you come tell me. I said, okay. Mm. I said, is there anything I need to worry about with the stint? Like, I said, we're going to be flying to Pittsburgh in October. And he said, no, it's fine. You can go through an MRI and all that stuff, and it'll be fine. I said, okay. Um, but <clears throat> he said, everything's going well. Oh, I asked about Plavix. I'm like, how long am I going to be on? I said, am I going to be on Plavix for life? He said, yeah. But took aspirin for about a year. So, <clears throat> I'll see him again in February, which will be about a year. So, I'll see what he does then. I said, well, is there anything I need to worry about or keep an eye on? Oh, he's asked if I had any chest pain. I said two or three times, but it was like a squeezing pain. I said, nothing like, nothing like how it felt when I actually had, was having true chest pain. And he was like, how often are you having that? I said, well, it's only been about twice. And he's like, okay. I said, it's kind of how I, I used to get that a little more often whenever, you know, before I lost the weight. He said, okay. Mmm. Mmm. So I said, I asked him, how am I going to know? You know, something happens again. And he said, you'll see me every six months and, and I'll keep you on the cholesterol medication. Listen, don't say a word. I've done the research. Don't, please don't comment. I'm on, I'm staying, I'm on the cholesterol medicine. Let it go. 
I've seen all the videos. I've heard all the things. I'm going to stay on my cholesterol medicine. So I'm telling you people, if you don't want cholesterol medicine, that's great. I had a 99 and a 95% heart blockage. I'm going to stay on my heart, on my cholesterol medicine. But if you don't want it, that's good for you. You discuss that with your doctor. But anyway, so I'm staying on the cholesterol medicine. And, uh, and then uh, the Plavix. And it's a weird thunderstorm watch for my location. Mm -hmm. And the aspirin for now. But because I'm staying on that Plavix, let me tell you something. I'm also staying on the um, on that protonics. I'll be danged if I'm gonna get an ulcer. No, thank you. So, yeah. Current location: severe thunderstorm watch. Man, I'm sure getting blown up. While I'm trying to talk to y'all. That's what I know. It was a nice visit. Next day, such a cutie patootie. I want a little more ketchup in here. Hang on, I'll be right back. You can rest peacefully. Quality assurance is definitely on the job. Those two and that one. So, they're working hard at keeping my food at the proper level of adequateness. There goes the girl. So, anyway... That's, that's what I know. Um, afterwards, I ran to the vet. I uh, had to pick up some Sammy medicine for his little ear flaps. His little foot, flippy flaps, you know. Got two dogs with ear issues. Between Lou's inside ear and Sammy's outer ear. Hmm. Let me tell you about my, my protein creamy. And then I'm going to sit down and eat because I got to work. I got, I have a supervisor meeting tomorrow morning. And so I have to, um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to, um, I, I won't be able to, I'm something that we always have to sign all the, the time cards on payday, uh, day after payday. Our day at the end of the paper is, and I won't be able to do that tomorrow because I'll be in a meeting all day. So I told, I'm going to try to do it tonight. Now, hang on, I'll show you my creamy. Something I want to tell you, there's no rhyme or reason for my texture. And I say this, like I said, I'm making a creamy video. So when it comes out, you're going to see like five or seven different ones that I've made. But there is literally no rhyme or reason for the texture that I get. Sometimes I get this soft serve texture. Last night, I got the like the carton ice cream texture. No. This is the same flavor as last night. It was half a scoop of the Equip chocolate, half a scoop of Equip peanut butter. And, um, uh, uh, and, and a splash of vodka. And I would say it was the vodka that made it whipped up like this, but that's not the case because I had vodka and some others. And they didn't whip up like this. So, I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason. I make them the same way every time. But it comes out different every time. Maybe it sat out an extra two minutes on my counter. But whatever. But anyway, so this is chocolate and peanut butter. I used it with the chocolate equip protein and the peanut butter equip protein. Half a scoop of each. So it was just one scoop of protein with water and a splash of vodka. So that's my supper, y'all, and I'm going to let you go because I got business to do. So I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.